guys welcome back welcome welcome if you are new thank you for clicking and stopping by to check out my video so basically my thoughts in doing this video was I was going through kind of organizing my makeup as I have to do typically about once a week <laughs> because I try so many things and I buy so many things and I do so many videos I find myself organizing my makeup like at least once a week if not twice a week. As I was just thinking about the end of the year approaching and trying to wrap my brain around all of the makeup and beauty products that I've been trying this year, palettes that I've been trying this year, and ones that I have coming up for the future that are still in the mail, <laughs> still on their way to me, all of that good stuff. I just said to myself, you know what? What are truly my favorite products that I've tried for 2018? What have I liked and really, really just kept going back to? What have I placed in my everyday makeup cubby that I will reach for and I need to have it handy every time I do my makeup? What are those items? And so I just kind of wanted to share with you guys what those items are. My ride or die, you know, kind of the items where if somebody bust in your house and said hey your house is about to burn down you can only choose one of each category of makeup what are you grabbing <laughs> what are you grabbing okay so that is what i wanted to do this video about because after i thought about it it was like okay these are the items that i would actually grab because i know they work i love them ride or die and if i had to choose these are the ones i would choose so Let's just get started. I've been rambling and rambling. You guys know what this video is going to be. And if you're a regular watcher of mine, you probably already know what the whole rundown is <laughs> before I even go into it because I do. I use a lot of the same basic products because I'm an eyeshadow chick. So for the most part, most of my videos are eyeshadow palette reviews, first impressions, try-ons, and things like that. So yeah, for my base... I've used a lot of the same products all the time, so let's just jump right in. I picked out mostly a full face of products to go through because I thought that would be the easiest for me. So let's just start with the eyebrows, okay? Now, in some cases, I do have two products that I really like, but like I said, if somebody said, hey, you can only grab one, these are the ones I would grab. So for eyebrows, the item I would grab would be this e.l.f. eyebrow pomade. I always forget the name of this stuff. This is the Lock On Liner and Brow Pomade from e.l.f. And I use the color Espresso. And I love this stuff. It's just really easy to draw on eyebrows. If you like using a pomade, this stuff is great. And this shade works for me. I like my eyebrows to be pretty dark, as you can see. And... I kind of like my eyebrows to look a little bit natural, not so structured and perfect and all of that stuff. I do like them to look a little bit natural. So this works out great for me to use, filling my brows, brushing in, and it's quick and easy. So this would be my favorite of 2018 for brows. Now, when it comes to moisturizing my face prior to priming and putting on my foundation and all of that stuff, you guys know I have been going for this Neutrogena Hydra Boost every single time. <laughs> Unless I'm trying something new, I love this stuff. It just feels really good. I love the consistency of it. It's nice and creamy. And as you can see, <laughs> I'm almost out. But, I mean, the packaging is gorgeous. But packaging aside, I really like this stuff. I love how it just instantly adds that boost of hydration to my face. So I love my Neutrogena. Now let's talk about priming, okay? I tried several primers. Now when I first started doing my makeup, my favorite ride or die primer was the e.l.f. Poreless Primer. And you know how they say, it's like you can really, really fall in love with something or think something is the best until you try something else. <laughs> that's kind of what happened to me I do try a lot of primers because when you get monthly subscription bags and boxes and all that good stuff you know they send a lot of moisturizers and primers and stuff like that and when you order from Sephora 
and Ulta a lot, <laughs> you get a lot of primer samples as well. I don't know. Somebody told me that. You know, y'all ain't heard that from me. But moving away from the e.l.f. Poreless Primer, I have found, unfortunately, <laughs> that this Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes. If this was the only primer that I could use for the rest of my life and I could afford it, I would use the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer because this stuff is really, really nice. It smooths out your skin, you know, fills in your pores. It makes your face less textured. And because it's so smooth, it's just like, it. I, I feel like it helps my base, my foundation and everything else to kind of lay down a little bit more smoothly. And being an older woman, I have a lot of texture in my face, okay? You, <laughs> you guys, I know... A lot of you have seen all my texture because, you know, I start my videos a lot of times in a blank mug, okay? But this stuff is great. Unfortunately, it's extremely expensive. And I will list all the products in the description box because I know me and I'm going to forget to tell you the prices and all that stuff or the correct name. But, yeah, this stuff is bomb, you guys. Now... I understand that e.l.f. has come out with what is being called a dupe for this for like $8. So, of course, when it comes back in stock, I'm going to try it out because if it is truly a dupe, I'd rather pay $8 than $52. <laughs> so, but I was very, very blessed to have this gifted to me. My lovely, lovely friend, Lily. okay, she sent this to me. So, I didn't, I didn't purchase this on my own, y'all. I'm blessed. <laughs> I'm blessed to have some wonderful, wonderful friends here on YouTube. So, enough about this. Yes, I will grab this. <sighs> okay, so talking about primers, let's go ahead and talk about what I use to prime my lids before I put on my eyeshadow. I have been using this... I just drew a blank. MAC. <laughs> I've been using this MAC paint pot for the past few months now. I think I started using it over the summer. And this stuff is bomb, you guys. This is bomb. I can't imagine me liking anything more than this for my eyelids. I know a lot of people are using the P. Louise and stuff, but I don't even want to try it because I love this MAC paint pot. Now, I use the color Soft Ochre because it's just, it works nice for me. It's like a nice warm shade. It's not too, too bright and it's not, you know, like my same skin tone. So I really like it. This stuff goes on nice and creamy, but it has like the perfect amount of tackiness to it to where once you place this on and blend it out, it really holds the pigment of whatever eyeshadow you're using. Even if you're using a crappy eyeshadow, this will help it out <laughs> as far as the pigment goes. Now, if, if you want an easier blendable lid, you can put powder on top of this paint pot just to kind of make your lid a little bit more smooth and easier to blend with but for pigment I definitely would say this is my favorite for this year the MAC paint pot and I have the color soft ochre now let's go ahead and jump into foundations I actually have two foundations one I really don't think it's fair for me to say is my favorite because I only used it like twice because I just got it. But let's start out with what I would definitely say is my favorite currently. And it is this Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. I love this stuff, okay? I love the way it goes on. First of all, I love the fact that this foundation has a giant doe foot applicator. I don't know why, you guys, I love the doe foot applicator. I do. It's like I can just open it up and start slapping it on my face. I don't have to put it on the back of my hand or I have to put it on something else to use. So I really like the fact that it has a, a giant applicator in here. You can't beat the price. I believe this is like $12 if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but I purchased mine at Ulta. Very reasonably priced. Of course, you guys know Revolution is very inexpensive. I love matte foundation. I, you know... I can look dewy and greasy all on my own <laughs> with 
whether my foundation is matte or not. So I tend to really like matte foundations where they're not super duper drying and I feel like this foundation is nice and matte. I love the way that this foundation just looks on my skin. The color that I use and it just, I like it. <laughs> That's all I can say is I like it. And I have a whole plethora of foundations, you guys. And some foundations I use and it's like, mm, I might like it the first time. And then the next time it's kind of like, mm, I didn't really notice that the first time. So it's not my favorite or I'm not really sure how I feel about it. This one, every time I use it, I like it. So I would have to say this Revolution Foundation is my favorite for this year. Now, the honorable mention that I was talking about is this Healthy Foundation from Physicians Formula. Now, I just tried this out recently and I've only used it once since then. So I've only used it about twice, but both times I've really, really enjoyed using this foundation. This foundation, <laughs> of course, has a nice doe foot applicator as well. So that's another reason probably why I like it, but I like the color and tone of this foundation. I have the shade DN4. I love the fact that it, it, it just gives a really nice light healthy coverage as it says it's not as heavy as a lot of foundations that I tend to use because of the fact that I have to have a full coverage foundation if you know <laughs> if you've watched my videos you know that when I start them out without any base on I have a lot of issues going on with my face darkness hyperpigmentation under eye bags I have a lot of issues spots and dots everywhere so the fact that this covers all of that up without it feeling heavy is amazing and I really really like it and this stuff is good for your skin okay all good ingredients so this gets an honorable mention <laughs> <laughs> okay, next let's talk about the concealer that I've been loving. Earlier in the year, ColourPop came out with their concealer and when I used it, I fell in love with it. I thought it was the greatest thing since sliced bread until I used <laughs> the Revolution Concealer, which came out this year as well. Now, this Revolution Concealer, what I really like about it is I like the coverage. For me with a concealer, if I put it on and then after I blend it out with my sponge, because I don't use a brush under my eyes, but for concealer, I do for powder, but not for concealer. Now, when I put a concealer under my eyes, when I blend it out with my sponge, if it starts to thin out and disappear, I don't like it because I don't like having to use repeat amounts of product just to cover up my dark circles under my eyes. This covers and it stays. Even when I use my damp sponge to blend it out, it stays. It's a great coverage as well as the color. So this would be my favorite for this year. Contour. <laughs> Basically for contour, I've been using the same contour stick ever since it came out. And it is this Fenty Match Stick and the color Espresso. Every now and then I'll kind of switch out and use my black opal because that works just as well but it's a little bit darker a little bit more cool tone than this but this Fenty match stick for my concealer it never does me wrong I put it on blend it out and it's just perfect for my skin tone and it blends out so nicely I never have any issues just like having to go crazy blending it out I love this stuff it's really really nice and let me show you what it looks like just in case you're not familiar with it. It's just a regular matchstick, one of Fenty's matchsticks, and it is in the color Espresso. So since we're talking about the face, let's just go ahead and stay there for powders. <laughs> if you watch my channel, you know that this collab powder, loose setting powder, was going to make the cut, okay? Now, I do have a very close second. It might actually be taken over for first place, and that's the J-Cat Banana Powder, because that stuff, I like it a lot. It's bomb. But 
This collab loose setting powder has been my ride or die for the whole year. I love this stuff and I would definitely say this is my favorite for setting under my eyes and my highlighted areas. For the rest of my face, I like the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, which looks like this. It comes in this cute little square container. I use the shade 35 Deep and this stuff I really, really like. I like this to set my whole face with. I like the loose powder because it gives me a lot of control and it's not as heavy. You know, it's not as heavy. You can just use a tiny bit or you can use a lot if you want. So I really like this for setting my whole face. One palette that I have to mention as far as contour, blush, highlight, everything. If you want to take just one item to cover all of those three areas, I would say the Sephora spice what is this the market spice palette the spice market palette <laughs> from sephora i love this palette as you can see it's very warm kind of orangey ready all that good stuff but this palette i could take and i have my contour my blush and my highlight all rolled up into one now let me just go ahead and give you a quick little look there's no mirror in this palette so if that bothers you then you might not like it I don't care about mirrors so it doesn't bother me but this shade up here is actually a very nice contour for me it doesn't look super dark but it's a dark blush shade and so I can use this if I just want a slight contour on my face along with a blush I can use that as a two-in-one this blush shade down here is very very pretty I actually have it on today and you know it's very subtle it has a nice Nice color to it but it is very very subtle so it doesn't kind of overpower and just like pow you know I really like it now this highlighter I don't know if you can see it but I am wearing this highlighter today as you can see it's just a nice soft gold glow I love it and there's different options in here they have a super light highlighter just in case you're more fair skin I hope that's a package delivery hold on don't tell my husband <laughs> look he don't watch my videos anyway so I ain't worried about it okay okay so what was I saying okay back to this palette there are different options in here for highlighters so if you're more fair skin or deeper tone such as myself you know you have different choices so this would be definitely my favorite to grab as an all-in-one just blush, highlight, and contour palette because it works great. Okay, let's just talk really quickly about eyes. Now, <laughs> you guys, I do not have a favorite eyeshadow palette, okay? I just don't. It's impossible for me to, to truly say I have a favorite eyeshadow palette because I use a different eyeshadow palette almost every day. I do. You know, having a channel, being a YouTuber, testing products out and stuff and funny enough I don't just wear makeup every day just on GP so when I'm trying out a palette or testing a palette or using a palette it's basically for my channel so I can't really say I have a favorite eyeshadow palette you guys but I do have a couple that I want to mention just because of the fact that I really really either felt something special when I used it <laughs> or I think it's definitely a great palette and like I said if somebody told me hey you can only choose one it would be one of these palettes. So the first palette that I want to talk about <laughs> yeah don't be mad at me okay do not be mad at me but when I used this palette I loved it okay loved it and honestly I can't wait to use it again it is the Huda Beauty New Nudes eyeshadow palette y'all I like this palette okay I don't care if don't nobody else like it I like it yes it's overpriced yeah it's extremely expensive for such a specific shade and color story of palette but I like it <laughs> I like it a lot okay so you know whatever but this is what this palette looks like you guys I like it look I even did a dupe video for this palette. I mean, telling you all kinds of palettes that you can use instead of this palette or buy instead of this palette, but I paid for it, I like it, and I'm gonna use it, 
okay this palette is gorgeous i love the tones in this palette the shadows performed extremely well they're extremely pigmented it doesn't look like this palette will do much as far as certain eye looks but i'm telling you this palette you can create some very bomb eyeshadow looks yeah it's 65 dollars or something like that so would i recommend you buy it no you could buy one of the dupes <laughs> but i love this palette okay so i was like i'm sure enough gonna mention it because uh Certain palettes, when I use them, I feel something special, and I really enjoyed using that palette. Now, the next palette that I want to talk about is one that I think is the bomb, okay? If you're looking for just an overall palette that you can create a lot of looks with, it's not super duper expensive, and... It's just kind of a great one to have in your collection. I would say it is this Morphe Dare to Create palette. Now, I love this palette. I love the colors in this palette. Sorry about the glare. It has this really pretty gold swipe on here. <laughs> but this is what this palette looks like. It is huge, so it's definitely not travel friendly. But the shades in this palette, oh my gosh, I'm telling you, every time I look at this palette, I feel some type of way. <laughs> I feel some type of way, okay? Every time I look at it, just the colors in this palette are so freaking pretty. I mean, the blues, the greens, the reds, it's just gorgeous. The only thing that I feel like, I mean, even it has like a nice uh, kind of purpley blue here, but I wish that it did have a couple of more purples in here. But honey, I can sit down and just go to town with this palette. It is beautiful. So just if you want to buy one palette, <laughs> if you just like to wear makeup and you're not crazy about it like I am, but you want to get a lot of options in one palette, I would suggest this palette because this is, mm, and it performs nicely. The quality is great. No, it's not the best, most amazing palette in the world. It's a Morphe palette. But can you create some great looks? Yes, you can. So I definitely would say this is one of my favorite palettes, hands down. Now, continuing on with the eyes, I just want to quickly run through liner and mascara. My favorite liner for my upper lid has been this pretty vulgar gel eyeliner that I got in my BoxyCharm a few months ago. It's jet black and it dries down matte. I actually used it today. I tend to go back and forth. If you know me, you know I go back and forth with the Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner and this Pretty Vulgar gel liner. Those are pretty much the only two that I use and this is just really nice. It glides on smooth. It's very easy even if you're not good at eyeliner. All you need to do is just have a steady hand and you can get a very nice straight dark line now for under the eyes or for my lower lash line and I'm wearing this today as well I really really like the Rimmel Scandal Eyes eyeliner this is one that you have to sharpen I tend to like the twist up ones a little bit better but I love the formula on this eyeliner because it's very creamy it's very jet black and it doesn't hurt my eyes a lot of times when I try to go in with eyeliners on my lower lash line if it's not nice and creamy and smooth and it tugs I have a tendency to hurt my eyes so I really really like this eyeliner it's great the only thing I don't like about it, like I said, is the fact that I have to sharpen it. And for mascara, you guys, I really, really love this Rimmel Lash Accelerator <laughs> Mascara. I actually broke the top, as you can see, half of it's missing. But I love this stuff, you guys. It's very inexpensive drugstore mascara. As you guys know, I get a lot of different mascaras in my monthly subscription boxes and samples and stuff like that. And a lot of them... I really really like the first few times I use them but after a while they start to get cakey and clumpy and they don't perform the same. This Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara has performed the same every single time I open this container up and use it. I love it. It's the perfect consistency. It's not too thick. It's not watery and it doesn't really clump up. Of course any mascara that you use too much of is going to clump up but this mascara i love it it's easy to apply it's easy to kind of fan out your lashes and 
it's just a really good drugstore mascara so this is definitely one that i will repurchase over and over again because i like it a lot and as you guys know i don't wear false lashes so mascara <laughs> is pretty important for my overall makeup look because i don't wear falsies so it has to work for me so i love this rimmel lash accelerator okay we're on the home stretch you guys i just want to quickly touch on lips for 2018 you guys know if you are a regular, my favorite lip liner is the Ellery ColourPop Lip Liner, okay? Nothing beats this for me. Nothing beats it, nothing is gonna beat it, ever. <laughs> ever, 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 I love this stuff. It's pretty, it's a gorgeous cranberry shade. I have it on today, but the lipstick that I have on is like a really pretty metallic purple, so it's kind of overpowering. But this is the shade of this lip liner beautiful cranberry you guys beautiful okay next time ColourPop has a sale I'm stocking up on it again because I love this lip liner so this is my favorite and I don't see it not being my favorite ever <laughs> this year I tried for the first time the elf and Alyssa Ashley lip gloss and I like this stuff, you guys. I like it a lot. This is like the perfect lip gloss to just throw in your purse or if you want to just line your lips and add a gloss. Or you can wear it by itself. It's, it's really a nice gloss and it's great for all skin tones. It has kind of like a soft, rosy, I don't know, mauve type look to it. If you guys can see that, it's really, really pretty. It's super duper shiny also, so it's a really shiny gloss. But as you can see, that rosy tone to it just makes it super duper pretty. So this would have to be. And you know what? Y'all know I love my Fenty Gloss Balm. I don't know, you guys. This Now that I think about it, that's a, a close matchup. My Fenty Gloss Balm. If somebody told me my house was on fire and I can only grab one lip gloss, it would probably be my 50 gloss ball. <laughs> I like you, Alyssa, but uh, I don't know. My gloss ball would probably have to come in first. So let me just go ahead and throw this in here because this is really actually my favorite. I would grab this before that, but both of these are really, really great, really pretty. They have extremely different price tags, so... I would suggest the Alyssa Ashley Elf if you're on a budget. Go ahead and get the Fenty if you got money to burn, okay? So that is my gloss favorites for Okay, this so year. I have two more items to go through, you guys, before this roundup is done. The next item, of course, <laughs> is my Pure Miracle Mist Spray. This is like a hydrating mist, and you can use it before your makeup to hydrate your face, or you can use it to set your makeup after you've already completed it. I use it for both and I tend to drench my face in this stuff because it just feels good, it smells good, and I love it. So yeah, this Pure Miracle Mist, I'm trying to hold on to this little bit I have left because <laughs> this stuff is not cheap, okay? But I will be repurchasing this for sure. And lastly, for brushes, I have purchased a lot of brushes this year, you guys. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. But I must say, this set of brushes, there's a couple of other <laughs> brushes in here. Don't mind those, the ones with the gold handles. I got those from BoxyCharm or something. But the Marble Lux brush set from BH Cosmetics, I like these brushes. I like them a lot. They're super duper soft. This is like my favorite powder brush. I love it. It's like I hate to use it because I want it to stay nice and pristine. But this is my favorite, favorite powder brush that I have purchased this year. I love it. And I'm going to be using this all throughout 2019, probably until it falls apart because I really, really like this brush. And these brushes, they're gorgeous. If, if you just look at the handle, look at the construction of them, they're really, really pretty. It's like they're just super fancy and I like it. <laughs> I like them a lot. So those will be the favorite brushes that I purchased this year in 2018. So that is my year in roundup, you guys. Like I said, if you're a regular viewer of mine, none of this was probably a surprise to you. But if you're new here, those are some of the products that I really, really loved this year. And I'm going to continue to carry on into 2019, honey, because... I am officially, well, 
as of January 1st, I will officially be on a super duper low buy. I'm not going to say no buy because y'all be trying to hold people to it. But I will be on a super duper low buy for 2019, you guys, because I have just, I got so much stuff I got to show you guys. So much stuff I need to use. So many palettes, foundations, all kind of stuff. So, okay, you guys. So I decided I wanted to sneak in a random surprise giveaway in this video for one of my faithful viewers. As you can see, my little goodie box of giveaway stuff has really, really gotten full and I think it's about time for me to send it out to someone. So the reason why I'm sticking this surprise giveaway in the middle of my video is because I really want one of my faithful viewers who actually watches my videos all the time to win this goodie box. There's so much stuff in here, you guys. I couldn't even tell you what all is in here. It's just all makeup beauty related items that I have been holding on to to give away. So all you have to do to be entered to win this goodie box of giveaways is just simply write down in the comment box what it is that you truly, truly want for Christmas and if you want a bonus entry, and if you're one of my real diehard viewers, then also add in the comment what it is that I never do for my makeup looks. There's one thing that if you watch me all the time and you know me, you know there's one thing that I never do for my makeup look. So <laughs> add that in the comment as well and you'll get an extra entry. But I really just wanted to pop this into my video. So if you've made it this far into the video, consider yourself lucky. Because if you just leave me a comment of what you want for Christmas and what I never do with my makeup looks, then you will go ahead and be entered into this giveaway. So I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching my video. and. Good luck. That's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Toodles.